Hi, I'm Dr. Venkatesh Munikrishnan. I'm a consultant colorectal and robotic surgeon at Apollo Main Hospital, Chennai. Today we're going to be discussing about colorectal cancer. We'll go deep dive into what colorectal cancer is, uh, what are the pre-existing conditions which can cause colorectal cancer, what are the symptomatology, uh, how do you diagnose the disease, and also what treatments are available. So what is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer is cancer of the colon rectum and anus, also known as the large intestine. If you know the gastrointestinal tract starts from the mouth to the anus, the food you eat goes through your mouth, through the food pipe, into the stomach where it gets digested, then it passes through a small intestine where it, then it joins the large intestine and then ends in the rectum and anus. So any cancer which involves the large intestine, the colon, the rectum and anus is known as colorectal cancer. So how does colorectal cancer develop? So colorectal cancers commonly develop from a condition called colorectal polyps. Now these polyps are small lumps which develop on the inner lining of the large intestine. Over a period of time, these polyps can turn into cancers and normally this can take as long as 10 years. So what if you have polyps? So if you have polyps, uh, it may be asymptomatic. So you will not know if you have a polyp until it becomes a large polyp which can bleed or cause some symptoms, colorectal symptoms of change in bowel habit or if it turns into cancer and, and, and cause symptoms. So majority of the time these polyps will be asymptomatic. So what are the symptoms of colorectal cancer? The common symptoms of colorectal cancer include rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit which could be either constipation or diarrhea which is loose stools, weight loss, anemia which is a low hemoglobin level or finding a lump in the abdomen. Now if you have any of these symptoms for more than six weeks then you should be really worried. You should go see your doctor and have yourself checked. When should screening for colorectal cancer start? Screening for colorectal cancer should start around the age of 50. Now, it used to be later on, but more and more we are seeing young patients develop colorectal cancer. So currently the recommendation would be to start screening at the age of 50. It's also important to remember that young, younger people are developing colorectal cancer. We have treated patients as young as 18, 20 more recently. And particularly in Asia, there is a trend towards young Asian males developing rectal cancer. So screening should start at the age of 50 or if you have symptoms of colorectal cancer such as rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit, weight loss, anemia for more than 6 weeks. What if you have a family history of colorectal cancer? Now if you have a history of colorectal cancer then it's very important that you get screened. Particularly if your parents had colorectal cancer then you are at a high risk. So you should get screened. Usually we recommend that. Suppose a parent had a colorectal cancer diagnosed at the age of 60, it, the screening should start 10 years earlier for yourself, that, so that, by which I mean that you should start screening at the age of 50. Or if they had a cancer at 40 years of age, then you should start screening when you are 30 years old. So if there is a family history of colorectal cancer, you are at a high risk, particularly first degree relatives. So go see a doctor and get screened. What is involved for screening colorectal cancer? Screening for colorectal cancer could be based on history. You have symptoms, you go see a doctor, your could, doctor could screen you uh, based on your symptomatology. But if you are looking at tests, the gold standard test for screening for colorectal cancer is colonoscopy. Unless you are unfit for the procedure, then we could screen with a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. How is colorectal cancer diagnosed? So colorectal cancer diagnosed most importantly from the history which you would give your doctor. The tests as we discussed are colonoscopy is the gold standard test which involves uh, taking a special preparation to clear the intestine out and then submitting yourself to the endoscopy department for a procedure which usually lasts about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Uh, you may be sedated for the procedure but it gives a very clear views of the inner lining of the large intestine 
And if there are any abnormalities, biopsies can be taken and this can go to the lab to, for confirmation of the problem. What are the stages of colorectal cancer? Now, stages of colorectal cancer start from early to late. They typically are divided into four stages. Stage one is when it's a small lump in the inner lining of the uh, intestine. Stage two, when it starts to invade the wall of the intestine. Stage three, just outside the in intestinal wall. And stage four, when it's spread to different organs such as the liver. So there are essentially four stages for colorectal cancer. What is chemotherapy? Now, chemotherapy for colorectal cancer depends, uh, is given to patients depending on the stage of the disease. So if it's early tumor of the large intestine or colorectal cancer, then the treatment is primarily surgery. But if the disease is advanced, if it's locally spread or there is distant spread, then sometimes we give chemotherapy. What is the treatment for colorectal cancer? Now treatment for colorectal cancer, let's split it into treatment for colon cancer and then treatment for rectal cancer. Treatment for colon cancer is fundamentally surgery. So a patient is diagnosed with colon cancer, that bit of the affected colon is removed and then two healthy ends are joined together. The removed diseased portion is sent to the lab depending on the stage. Further treatment is recommended such as chemotherapy. Now when you look at rectal cancer, the treatment becomes more complex because for rectal cancer, a majority of these patients will need pre-operation chemotherapy and radiation to downstage the tumor and then after a period of six to eight weeks minimum, sometimes 12 weeks, the patient is then submitted for surgery. What type of follow-up is required following treatment of colorectal cancer? Following the treatment of colorectal cancer, patients should be followed up uh, up to five years. Now, this is very important. So, patients should be seen after surgery or treatment in the first month, then three months, six months, and a year, and then after that, every year for the first five years. Who is at risk for colorectal cancer? Patients who are at risk are those who have a family history, patients who have previous history of ulcerative colitis, patients who are part of the familial adenomatosis polyposis syndrome families, and also, as we discussed, patients who have symptoms, colorectal symptoms for more than six weeks. What is the outlook for patients with colorectal cancer? Now, the outlook of, for patients with colorectal cancer is pretty good. It is a, as we've discussed, Colorectal cancer develops from polyps and these take about 10 years to develop. So if we can get a screening done or if you have symptoms and you see a doctor early and if you can pick up these cancers early, we can completely cure them. So today we have discussed about what is colorectal cancer, which parts of the body are affected with colorectal cancer, what are the symptoms for colorectal cancer, who is at risk for colorectal cancer, what are the, how do we diagnose colorectal cancer, what are the treatment options available, how these patients need to be followed up, and finally, that if these patients are diagnosed early, we can cure the condition. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed. If you have any of these symptoms or queries, go see a doctor and get a consultation.